Tecmate, my fellow Gators. I would like to welcome you to another project, which as you can see is Project Teltac. But this video will be a little bit different than uh, in my previous project, um, in that this will be basically part zero. I will not show you the model as is prepared for the 3D printing, because I am uh, facing an, uh, an issue and uh, I would like to basically talk about how I will probably solve it with a compromise. Anyway, uh, this is the Teltac. This is from the uh, episode with the asteroid. And uh, I guess you are all familiar with it. Um, it's a gold cargo ship. Um, the design is kind of a blend between a pyramid and death glider. And I always liked it. One of the reasons why I, why I liked it is the because it has this cool transition between the fly mode and uh, landing mode. I prepared a short video where you can see how it actually looks, so take a look. So, you, uh, you can see that uh, it uh, transforms quite nicely, uh, it uh, retracts the uh, side fins, or wings, then uh, it kinda lowers the belly, and uh, once it's landed, the sides will retract back, and it reveals the airlock. Um, yeah, on the one one uh, video, uh, it was from the episode Evolution, when uh, the Teltac is escaping Tartarus. Uh, you may have noticed that the animation was a little bit different, more, uh, let's say, rushed. And uh, the, the transformation looked a little bit different. I kinda like, the, uh, not kinda, I really like uh, the original one, as it appears in the Dead, uh, Dead Man's Witch. So, I it was always my idea or my, my wish to make a Delta that would have this ability to transform like this. But in order to do so properly, the model would have to be really, really big. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, I will now show you uh, what I have and I will... Uh, describe it a little bit okay so this is the model as I have it this is a normal uh, solid solid model and from this I uh, can make it you know uh, 3d printable uh, it's uh, not that detailed I tried to do it as detailed as possible though as you can see I really uh, made it easier here because that's the curved area and uh, making some extrudes on it would be very difficult so I decided to leave it blank maybe in future I, I will do it but I don't really uh, want to play with it right now uh, this model is uh, roughly 30 centimeters long and it is in the fly mode uh, from the look, uh, from the bottom, you can see that here is the uh, ring transporter, and this is uh, what I kind of prepared for the stand because, as you can see, it cannot stand on its own. So I already designed a stand, which kind of makes it almost well. You'll see. Okay, so this is the stand. As you can see, I took the ring transporter and make the 
stand out of it. So we have a ground, we have a ring transporter and that will serve as a stand. So yeah, it's white, we have a five rings and yeah. So this should now stand very well on its own. And yeah, I suppose this could be a very nice model. Uh, the pedestal with the rings uh, would be uh, detachable. And so, yeah, I guess it's okay. But, as I said, I always wanted uh, the ship to do the stuff that it does in the show to be retractable. Unfortunately, as I said, uh, doing it on such a small ship with 3D printing would be at least I don't think uh, would be possible. So I kinda uh, designed something that is similar, though not exactly the same, but the ship can actually transform. And this is it. You can see on a first glance that it's much more open. Uh, individual plates uh, have much more space between them and one other thing is that as you can see I also added two stuff cannons. Uh, normally the attacks are not armed but if you remember the episode Bounty, Bounty from the 10th uh, season uh, you remember that the Teltac can be updated or upgraded sorry to actually have uh, stuff cannons. So I thought to myself why not. Uh, it's on packs, so you can remove them anyway. And I can do that for, for the normal Delta as well. But uh, here, uh, this is a not a normal Delta because this one can actually transform. And how does it work? If you can, uh, if you take a look at the belly, you can immediately see, uh, immediately immediately see that it is much more complex than on the non-moving model and it works like this so first we open those flaps and we can theoretically completely unhinge the entire bottom it's on a well parallelogram the same on the other side and now our belly is basically opened now we will do this now obviously I have a mechanism inserted here uh, in real life everything would have to be moved by hand but uh, we have a groove here, we have a part with the end stub here, which will slide inside, and here this part will be simply rotated. And now when this is done, we simply rotate it down. Now obviously you can see that there is a clipping, that's because I have it uh, connected via mechanism to close both sides at once. Uh, in real time it will not be connected so there will be no issue with clipping at uh, not at all okay now uh, when the fins are inside we can close it and we have this and once it lands we will simply do this and that's it yeah we have once again grooves and both pieces have well pegs that will go inside and this is now in the landed way though yeah as you can see i don't have the airlock here um yeah, that would be way too difficult to do with the grooves inside because uh, if, you, if you noticed in the video uh, that's exactly what, what happens there that the grooves are part of the area where the airlock actually is. Yeah, so it's like this. 
and uh, this I think should actually work uh, obviously I don't have anything when it comes to the some pins yeah it's still empty but there will be normal 5 by 15 millimeters uh, pin inserted well everywhere so I have a, a good experience with it it works uh, just like intended so I will do it here as well yeah and well that is it and thus it could actually land and those uh, stuff cannons will actually help to balance it when it lands because yeah, as you can see here we have the belly and I actually cannot do it retractable like on the CGI model so it will have to stay as it is and to be and uh, also I am thinking about making something here uh, like a landing leg or something like that for better stability okay so yeah this is this is the the transformable delta okay, I will put it back and it is ready to fly and yeah maybe it will be even possible to use the stand in the same way as with the non-moving uh, non-moving version and now the purpose of the video was to actually show you these two version and I'm thinking with which version I should actually go uh, for which version should I uh, make a printable and then print out and for me this is most certainly this one uh, however I do understand that uh, some of you uh, may not want to do this may even want to do it in a different scale which would be problematic with the moving parts and stuff like that so I actually am thinking that I will make both of them available and prepare models for both versions and upload them to Thinkiverse though I will most likely not print the uh, non-moving version myself which means that this would be the first time that I publish data for models which for model which I actually don't print so if you decide to actually go with it please bear in mind that there may be some uh, issues that I did not find because uh, normally I print the model myself to well have it and to uh, iron any possible issue that the model can have and for the non-moving version that will not be the case because I will not uh, print that one maybe as a commission work for somebody but that's in the future but for me it would be this one so yeah this was kinda a long way to explain you all this but yeah this is this is uh, this is my my Teltac model so in uh, some let's say near future you can expect another part that will showcase the model in its entirety when it is printable uh, and prepared for for the for the printing all right uh, that would be all for now thank you and have a very very nice day tech mate